All right, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. All right, before we get started, we'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Let it get double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the full going earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. But Kazapa, let's come back with another quick lesson. This is being proud of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. We're just going off in the spirit, a little uh, GMS impromptu. Um, my brothers are still able to get up to preach this word, you know, uh, to tell people to come back to Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, who the one calls God in Jesus Christ, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the one calls Jesus Christ. Okay, those are the names that we're going to be calling on these times, all right, that the elected will be calling on, the Lord's will require that number uh, to be delivered from the said parents to come. Okay, so today we're just going to get into uh, uh, one particular scripture, and uh, we're going to go off in spirit with that, uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 1. Uh, verse 7, okay? Uh, because the time that we're living in, we're going to need to hearken more and more into the instructions of the Lord through the men of the Lord, okay? All right? Who the Lord have set up on in the, um, in these days for men to follow, okay? Uh, this is uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge. So to see the fear of the Lord, all right? When you fear that, fear where fear goes into reverence, okay? When you reverence Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the one that calls God in Jesus Christ, you're going to start to do things to uh, to please him so his wrath doesn't come upon you, okay? All right, so it said, well, the, the, the fear of the Lord that is beginning of knowledge, you're beginning to know things, uh, how how to please the Lord is one of them, how to uh, um, humble yourself is another thing, or how to uh, apply the scriptures to yourself. These are things that you begin to understand and know, okay? What else, bro? It says... But fools despise wisdom and instruction. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Because we know according to Job 28 and 28, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So fools hate wisdom. At the end of the day, they hate the fear of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. They want to do their own thing. That's why the Lord is going to end up destroying them. Can you get uh, second, uh, uh, Sirach chapter 2, uh, verses, uh, verse 16, I believe, 16 and 17? It says, those that fear the Lord do, shall do as well pleasing unto him. You know, because those that want to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are those that fear the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? All right? You know, they're going to be the ones that are tapping in to the Spirit by what? Being obedient servants unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You got it? Yeah, this is uh, Sirach 2 and 15. Mm -hmm. They that fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will not disobey his word. Now, those that fear the God of the Bible, because remember, the fear of the God of the Bible, or Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, is what? Is the beginning of knowledge, where knowledge all starts. It starts at the fear of the Lord. And so it said, the fear of the Lord is going to also do what? But read that one more time. It's, uh, Sirach 2 and 15. They that fear Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai will not disobey his word. Also will not disobey his word. Okay? You know, scriptures tell us to continue the things that we're taught. You know, to not make up any new doctrines. All right, if it wasn't approved by the heads, we don't teach it, okay? You know, uh, you know, if it's not according to the scriptures, we don't teach it. All right, so the, we're, we're taking heed until what the Lord has commanded us through the scriptures, through the men of the Lord who's teaching these scriptures, man, okay? okay it reading. says, and they that love him will keep his ways. And hey, they that love him will keep his ways, which tells you in First John 3, all right, and four, what the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, who the one who calls God and Jesus Christ is keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. Okay, you know, this is how we love Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is actually rehearsing and, and showing forth that we uh, want to obey Him. Okay, you know, uh, uh, you get that precept, but then also when you um, get uh, Isaiah, the first chapter, yeah. and um. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nineteen twenty. Yep. You know, because that's uh, that's the whole duty of man is to what? To keep the commandments of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the one who calls God and Jesus Christ, to the best of your ability. Of course, here we're in Babylon the Great, so we can't keep them one hundred percent, but we do it to the best of our ability and to what? To fear the God of the Bible. Okay. Yeah, let me get to the point. This is James one and twenty two. Mm -hmm. But be ye doers of the word mm -hmm. and not hearers only. It said, "Be ye doers of the word, not hearers only." You gonna get something above that? Oh, uh, you want me to go uh, scripture above it? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, James uh, one and twenty one. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness mm -hmm. and superfluity and naughtiness. Man, man, pitting off this world, pitting off the uh, the cares and affairs of this world. Now, of course, we're in the world, so we gotta do our daily. You know, go to work, get our daily bread, do what we gotta do. 
but we're not into the things that the people in this world are into okay you know you know we're not we're not um head over heels over for this world okay you know the lord said what to, to get away from the superfluity superfluity of naughtiness i mean with the access of wickedness okay all right keep reading uh, all our eggs is in the basket of y'all by shimmy all shot that's right like we ain't got not one foot in the world <laughs> yeah, that's just, right <laughs> that's right know, we just surviving that's it that's right that's right you know just coasting until you know it's time to get back up out of here man we're not uh as people say we're not rooted in this in this place america man okay right. and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls but and receive our uh, with meekness with humility all right with humility actually goes back to the word obedience okay with all obedience to the words of yahweh by shema al receiving this word okay you know you soaking this word up you know yeah because you said uh you know we got to do what's pleasing to the lord so the wrath don't come on on, on unto us that's right that's so right. Uh, uh james 1 and 22 but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only be ye doers of the word i mean me putting forth the action okay you know this i've been watching a lot of people talk like you know uh a lot of people like uh, i guess you would call them motivational speakers but at the same time they're not they're like different people brothers know like andrew tate and stuff that dude he says it's all about action. You gotta do action, action. And the Lord is about that, man. You know, and you see a here a great millstone starting for the apostles and others, a great millstone to the men on down like us. You know, we're an action camp. You know, it's all about action. We gotta do. You know, all right? We gotta put forth that that action in earth and not just saying. So be ye doer of the word, not what else, bro? It says, but be ye doers of the word mm -hmm. and not hearers only. So not just hearing, but actually putting what? What you hear into practice, into action. Okay? You know, that's what we were supposed to do. All right, especially coming back to Yahweh Bashmi, I will show you the warning because God in Jesus Christ. Supposed to put forth that action to show it to the Lord that you actually believe. Okay? Deceiving your own selves. Mm, but you'll be deceiving your own self if you don't. Okay? Take heed to this word and it starts off with, with action. You hear and then you act on it, man. Okay? You know? So, and that, well, like I said, what's up with all meekness? What? Mean, with all obedience, being obedient to Yahweh Bashmi, I will show to the best of your ability, man. All right, the Lord knows if you're trying or not. You put forth your best effort to, to to come out the world and stuff and put away the world and put on the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Okay, am I not? Yeah. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Mm hmm and That's right, you know? you know? And guess what? He doesn't remember what he looks like, right? Okay? So you over here... Uh, 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 talking to talk but you're not walking the walk okay you know but remember go back when you start doing that shows your obedience to yahweh by shaman shah which shows what your fear of what his wrath is going to happen into you if you don't all right you know so in these times you need to be obedient to the spirit of yahweh by shaman shah so you get this huh. this is isaiah 1 and 19 mm -hmm. but if you be willing and obedient if you be willing and obedient okay you know you got to be both willing, okay? You got to have that, that drive, okay? And obedient, okay? So that drive, and then that drive pushing forth to obedience to please the Lord, all right? With the fear of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Because remember, fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fools despise the fear of the Lord, okay? They they want to do their own thing and not and not please the Lord. But we know that what? Pleasing the Lord, fearing Him, all right, is what's going to lead you to life, Okay? You know, and a lot of people is showing that a lot of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are leading, uh, are following the lifestyle of death and not life. Because why? They don't fear the God of the Bible. That's something, bro. Yeah. Um. Go ahead and finish this one. Mm -hmm. It says, "If you be willing and obedient, mm -hmm. you shall eat the good of the land." That's right. I mean, you got the Lord's gonna take care of you. Literally, He's gonna take care of us in these last days. Lord's will be that number. Okay. You know. That we keep on being obedient to the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel Can you read? Yeah. Let's just quick one real quick. Um, Deuteronomy 28 1. Mm -hmm. It says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments, which which I have, I mean, which I command thee this day. It says that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth mm -hmm. and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee 
if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power. See, and that, and that's what would have happened unto us if we would have, if we would have what obeyed the first time. Okay, but you know our people keep on going off, kept on wanting to do their own thing. So the Lord is like, you know what? You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not dealing with y'all on that level no more. Okay, so that's why we got, we got the new covenant about to come in, which we're not in. Okay, all right. So first being new covenant, you wouldn't be, we wouldn't be on the video right now teaching. Okay, if we was in the new covenant, we're in that grace period going into it. Okay, but well, you know, look, man, it's, it's better to obey Yahweh Shem Al Shai, especially in these times, man. You gotta show forth that obedience to your actions, man. Okay, you know, so those that are willing and obedient, the Lord's gonna take care of them. He's gonna continue to bless them, man. All right, especially in these times again, the Lord's gonna protect them. All right, we'll go back. Okay. This is Isaiah one and twenty. But if you refuse and rebel, which our people are doing, rebellion is uh as a sin of witchcraft. Okay. Also, that word rebellion means to fight back, to be hard-headed okay our people are hard-headed the lord called the people stiff neck so you know we have to be the israelites because israel is hard-headed so-called negroes latinos and Native americans are the most hard-headed people on this planet okay can't tell them nothing can't get right you know these this is all the attributes of, the, of our people but guess what the lord said if you what want to refuse and rebel what's gonna happen to you it says you should be devoured with the sword mm -hmm. and I mean, for the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he was spoken. But who's the mouthpiece of the Lord? The men of the Lord. So you don't want to take heed to these words and be obedient. The Lord said that what? My prophets are going to tell you, the mouthpieces of the Lord are going to tell you that you're going to be destroyed. Okay? Because the Lord is speaking through him, through through them. Okay? And it'll tell you that, uh, Isaiah uh, 15. That fast. You know, because it's going to tell you what the, um, uh, what the men of the Lord are going to say unto our people. Is Isaiah 15 and 1 the burden of Moab because in the night of Wait, it might be uh, Jeremiah 15 so I can yeah I was with those two mixed up <laughs> yeah let's just say um, yeah, let's just say like uh, Moses the same yeah Jeremiah okay. is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 1 mm -hmm. then said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai unto me, mm -hmm. though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Men of the Lord, the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, which that represents what the prophets, the men of the Lord, okay, which is the same ones coming back now today, all right. Can you read it? Yet my mind could not be towards this people. Well, the Lord couldn't be towards our people because why our people are constantly going off being disobedient. Keep on reading. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Lord did. And that's why we got jacked up. This is why we're in a predicament we're in here in America. Okay? Because what? We could Our people did not want to follow what the Lord commanded them to do. They didn't fear the God of the Bible. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Can you read it? It says, And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whither shall, yeah, whither shall, we go forth. You know what? Remember, they're talking to the men of the Lord, the mouthpiece of the Lord. What's, what are we going to do now? This is what the Lord's going to send them back through those men. Keep reading. It says, Then thou shalt tell them that say, If Yahweh Bashem Yahweh such as are for death to death, mm -hmm. and such as are for the sword to the sword, mm -hmm. and such as are to famine, to the famine. So you got death, you got death, the sword, which is any instrument of death. All right. It said famine and lack of resource of bread and water and what else, bro? It says, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Concentration camps being locked up. Keep reading. It says, and I will appoint over them four kinds. Mm -hmm. Say if you how about the sword, the sword to slay. Mm -hmm. And the dogs to tear. The dogs to tear, can you read? And the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. That's right. And that's what the men of the Lord are going to tell you if you refuse and rebel. That's what the mouthpiece of the Lord is going to tell you. That all those calamities are going to come upon you. Okay? Say so what? The, for the Lord is going to consume you. All right? You know? Thus say the Lord. Thus say the God of the Bible. Okay? You know? So we're reading. We just read to you what the men of the Lord are going to tell you if you don't want to get right. All right? This is why we need our people need to what turn back to Yahweh Bashim and and become obedient, man. But we know only the elect of the nation of Israel is gonna do these things, man. You know, like I said, we're not gonna keep it too long. Um, honestly, you got a preset? Yeah. Uh, I'm slowing. 
Okay, all right, guys, we just get a we'll just get Ecclesiastes, um, twelve, and we, you know just end off that. It's something real quick in the spirit, and they're telling our people to, like, to repent and turn back to the God of the Bible while you still can. Our right, when this grace period, which is about to end up, is about to end. Okay, you see right now with all the prophecies happening. You know? said, uh, telling them to repent and everything. Yeah, kind. Right, right. I got a quick one. Okay, kind, kind, kind. Hey, so we're spirit man. flow. Let's, let's all right. <clears throat> Because we're going into repentance and you know obedience. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a uh, Sirach chapter seventeen verse twenty four. Mm -hmm. But unto them that repent, he granteth them return. Mm -hmm. Those that will turn back to the God of the Bible sorrowfully. That's what it will repent. And repent is an action word, so that means you change your actions according to the Bible. Okay, remember we're talking about action, right? Come, on, come. On. And comfort it those that failed in patience. You know what? And comfort it those that what? It said, and comforted those that failed in patience. Yeah, and comforted those that failed in patience, man. So, Lord is our comfort. Those that return and, and, and seek after the Lord, repent, all right? Change your actions according to the Bible. The Lord is going to protect them in these times, man. Okay? Uh, it says, return unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and forsake thy sins. You know, and forsake thy sins, man. Turn away from the, the, the ways. And uh, of the world, the way that the world wanted you to conduct yourself. Okay? Make thy prayer before his face. And you are repenting, praying, begging for mercy, asking the Lord to protect you. All right? This is all part of prayer, and our people need to start doing these things. But we know only the elect will. Okay? The elect of the nation of Israel are going to do these things. Anything else? Yeah. And it says, and offend less. And offend less means to the best of your really, because the Lord knows we're not going to be able to do everything perfect in this place. So that's true that we're going to be rehearsing the righteous acts. He said, offend less. That means what? You're, to, you're still going to offend. All right? But offend less. Whatever you can stop doing, stop doing it. Okay? Stop doing it, man. All right? Whatever you can do, uh, uh, according to scriptures, you do to the best of your ability. Okay? And uh, verse 26 Turn again to the Most High mm -hmm. and turn away from iniquity, mm -hmm. for He will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and mm -hmm. hate thou abomination vehemently. That's right, man. Hate, hate the abomination of this world with all full hatred, vehemently, like with a passion. Okay, uh, you know, we're supposed to be some of the, we're supposed to be the men in Isaiah that's signing and crying for the abomination to be, be done, done in the midst of. Yep, Ezekiel. Yep. I mean, like you, you, you know, you know, and, you know, hey, crying for all the abominations that we've done in the midst of, man. That's what's supposed to attitude that we're supposed to have towards this place is turning back to Yahweh by Shemi Shai, the one who calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, yeah. you know, so that's what we're supposed to be doing in these times. That's a beautiful precept, bro. Kind, kind, any more? Yeah, there's one more. Kind. This is, uh, you know, basically what we're really supposed to be doing constantly. That's right. This is uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. That's right. Pray without ceasing. And that includes repenting, turning back to the God of the Bible on a daily basis. You know? Because on a on daily basis, we go off. So we got to ask the Lord for forgiveness, man, that we can continue in this faith and to continue to please him more and more. Okay? Because you don't want to be found rebellious in these times, man. The Lord's going to allow you to be destroyed out here, man. Okay? We want to be found obedient as obedient servants of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the word he calls God in Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Now this is uh, the Ecclesiastes, mm -hmm. chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So wrapping up everything, all right. This is exactly what she should be doing. Okay. It says, "Fear the Most High." But the fear of the Lord. Remember, we just started off. That's the beginning of knowledge. You know, you don't want to be a found a fool and end up being destroyed. So the fear of the Lord. What else? It says it's a rock. The fear of the Lord is the first step to being accepted of him. That's right. It's the first, as a spirit, that's the first step. Fear him. Okay, is the first step to what? Being accepted of him. All right, can we read? And keep his commandments. So what? Rehearse the righteous acts, right? Offend less. Okay? You know, rehearsal means what? You're practicing. You ain't going to get it right all the time, but hey, as time goes on, you get better. Okay, can we read? For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty, the whole duty, the whole requirement. All right, the whole demand all right, that the Lord demands us to do, commands us to do as Israelites, men, women, and child. Okay? All right? So seek after the God of the Bible, man, or else, you know, you will be destroyed, man. Okay? You know? 
So yeah, just want to get this for you a little quick lesson in the spirit. We want to get this for the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Before we close out, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kadosh. I'd like to give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell his truth according to the Bible. A shalom to the brothers out there that the full because every person is worthy of righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom. Shalom.